there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an IWI Masada Slim, otherwise known as a Masada 9S. Subcompact, well kind of, it would be considered a larger subcompact handgun. Polymer frame, striker fire, 9mm, become so popular. ORP, optic ready pistol. And I have a Holosun EPS carry on there, I want to talk about that. But it is slim. The grip is very thin. Now, I do like the grip. I like the grip texturing. Three-finger contact when, when gripping the pistol. It's not overly textured or extremely aggressive. Not at all. If you carry this, it shouldn't irritate the skin when carrying. But the grip is thin. We'll do a quick comparison here. Or shall I say slim. Not thin. Slim, hence the name. But you can see the Hellcat on the right, a little bit wider with the grip. Let's check out the P365. We'll put that on the left, and we'll see that the grip is a little bit wider as well. So I'm thinking that's where they came up with the name Slim. It comes with two 13-round magazines. 10-round mags are available for those in states that require that. The less free states, I should say, if you go with this. Here's the case, you're getting two 13 round magazines, a hex wrench for the optic plate, and there's the optic plate. I always put some tape over so I don't lose the screws. Lock, paperwork, box, everything else. But I have taken it to the range on a couple occasions already. I, I have to say, I now know why this was highly requested. It, it shot very well. And what I've been running are store-bought reloads and i haven't had one issue with it had to put 450 500 somewhere in there round through it and and i just kept eating it up and forgot to hit that record button a few times because this is a lot of fun forward serrations i'm one of those guys that do press checks some people don't think it's necessary the Magazine release is triangular. You could switch it out to the other side, making it left-handed friendly. I like the forward serrations. The sights are a little bit taller, and I think that's to help co-witness with the dot. You can see the rear sights serrated black with a couple indentations in on there. See that? Same as the full-size Masada and a front dot. And I dig the trigger where you see this reset. Five and a half pound trigger pull. It does have a safety in the middle of the trigger, but the reset is very short. For a larger subcompact gun, that is one short reset. Five and a half pound trigger pull. Squared off trigger guard, plenty of room if you have a glove. These serrated like lines, I guess they're really not serrations because they are on the frame. It looks like you could put a a light or a laser on there, you just can't do it. There's not enough room. The optic that I have here is a Holosun EPS carry. EPS stands for enclosed pistol sight. You can see that it's solar powered, has a battery compartment right there. And what makes it an enclosed pistol sight is that the light emitter that we typically see right in there with this the Holosun 407C okay that's enclosed so no dust dirt grime anything could get in there to obstruct the dot now it's a multi reticle system so it has a regular green dot a circle or a circle dot two MOA dot I went with the dot just a dot but if i wanted the circle dot i could easily do that with these settings 12 brightness settings it's shake awake and the footprint is the same as an rmsc okay or the Holosun k series very nice combination i keep wanting wanting to call it a red dot it's not a red dot it's a green dot and i have really come to love green dot so easy it's a direct mount on the masada slim another thing that sets this apart is that the serialized chassis is on the trigger group okay so what you'd have to do is punch out that roll pin punch out that roll pin and then you could easily 
take that off. To disassemble the Masada Slim, it takes an additional step. The first thing you're going to do, as always, we check clear. We're going to lock the slide back. This lever right here needs to be pushed forward. So you get that out of the way. You drop the slide. And then you move it back a little bit because it has a cut out there to pull out the pin. And you just reach in there and pull it out. Right there. You can't lose it. You don't need to pull the trigger. Slide comes right off from the frame. You'll see that we have a dual recoil spring and a 3.4 inch barrel cleanly machined slide. And then it goes back in opposite order. Same steps, opposite order. And is that low enough? I believe so. Long frame rails. Check that out. Very long. So at this point, we're going to put that pin back. Where do I get this thing on the scale? I think you'll like what you see with a... It's got to be pretty perfect in there. And it is locked to slide back. If, if you're here but that lever is pushed forward, the magazine will not insert. Once that caught me off guard. So you have to lock the slide back, push that lever down where it belongs, and then the magazine will insert but we'll go ahead and get it on the scale dial down this light here and the unloaded weight get ready would you one pound seven and a quarter ounces 23 and a quarter ounces here are 13 rounds nine millimeter they were looking at 28 and three quarters ounces 29 and an eighth ounce with 14 rounds. So many people have told me you have to check out the Masada Slim and now I can undoubtedly say I own it. I checked it out and it performs exactly like everybody told me it would. Very reliable. I have been using store-bought reloads that perform way better than Freedom Munitions. I will tell you that. And with those, I had no issues. None with the Masada Slim. Or Masada 9S, ORP, Optic Ready Pistol. Very happy with it. I think the combination's great. This Holosun EPS carry is a phenomenal optic. Green dot, multi-reticle, shake awake, all that. And then the Masada Slim. A larger subcompact, 13 round mags, long frame rails. Disassemble, eh, not too bad. Once you get it down, you'll see. But it's a lighter weight, 9mm handgun that I'm sure a lot of people are carrying to this very day. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.